Jazz. This is my channel. Today we're going to be cooking chicken fajitas and we're going to start off by sauteing our peppers. So get ready, come get your grub on. So we're going to add the oil, let it warm up a bit, just a little bit. While that's warming up, then we're going to add our peppers. You just want to caramelize them. You don't want to overcook them. And then we're going to add them onto our chicken. Once they're so we're going to throw in our vegetables. Get them caramelized. As you can see, I have red and green and onion. But you can also add yellow if you prefer. Some people sometimes prefer just red and onion or just onion. We're going to season our veggies. A little bit of seasoning salt. Just a little bit. You don't want it to be too salty black pepper just a little bit some garlic powder and add some chili powder you can add a little bit that should be good some ground paprika And some cajun. I'm gonna mix it up, stir it up until it is caramelized, and then we're gonna set it to the side and then start our chicken. So while this caramelizes, we're gonna come over here and warm up our pan. Our pot, actually, our pot, my bad. A pot for a chicken. And we're gonna let that sit. Now, while that sits, I wanna ask you guys what do you guys prefer? You guys prefer chicken, steak, or shrimp? Or all three? Let me know in the comments below what you prefer. What is your favorite? So, my chicken's already been marinated. We're gonna throw it into a pan. We're gonna cook it. Now the reason I already have the chicken marinated is because it's best to have it sit in for a few hours, at least four hours, or you can have it a day ahead and have it so it can get all those delicious flavors into your chicken and it won't be so bland. And while that cooks, um, I'll check on my peppers right now. So as you can see, our chicken's almost ready, so we're gonna 90% ready. And we're gonna add our peppers in just to integrate the flavors of the chicken and the peppers together. And mix it around. And that's why it's good also, like I said, marinate your chicken a day before or four hours before. Slice it up. Marinate it in a bag or Tupperware and let it sit. So now our chicken is ready, as you can see. It smells really good. Like I said, I prefer to marinate at least one day. It's best for me. I, that's what I prefer. But like I said, you can turn the chicken for at least four hours and just cook the peppers and the onions separate. So we go in when nine percent the chicken is done, so it can be nice and crispy when you take a bite. Now we're gonna set it up and plate it. As you can see, this is my chicken fajitas. Thank you for growing with us. Hope you subscribe and like for more videos. Thank you for watching. Let's get our grub on.